Morphia, Wikipedia article audio. Morphia, also called localized scleroderma or circumscribed scleroderma, is a form of scleroderma that involves isolated patches of hardened skin on the face, hands, and feet, or anywhere else on the body, with no internal organ involvement. 130. Classification Signs and Symptoms Cause Diagnosis Treatment Epidemiology Morphia most often presents as macules or plagues a few centimeters in diameter, but also may occur as bands or in guttate lesions or nodules, 171. Morphia is a thickening and hardening of the skin and subcutaneous tissues from excessive collagen deposition. Morphia includes specific conditions ranging from very small plagues only involving the skin to widespread disease causing functional and cosmetic deformities. Morphia discriminates from systemic sclerosis by its supposed lack of internal organ involvement. This classification scheme does not include the mixed form of morphia in which different morphologies of skin lesions are present in the same individual. Up to 15% of morphia patients may fall into this previously unrecognized category. Physicians and scientists do not know what causes morphia. Case reports and observational studies suggest there is a higher frequency of family history of autoimmune diseases in patients with morphia. Tests for autoantibodies associated with morphia have shown results in higher frequencies of antihistone and antitopoisomerase IIA antibodies. Case reports of morphia CO existing with other systemic autoimmune diseases such as primary biliary cirrhosis, vitiligo, and systemic lupus erythematosus lend support to morphia as an autoimmune disease. B. Bergder theory infection may be relevant for the induction of a distinct autoimmune type of scleroderma. It may be called Borrelia-associated early-onset morphia and is characterized by the combination of disease onset at younger age, infection with B. Bergder theory, and evident autoimmune phenomena as reflected by high titer antinuclear antibodies. Throughout the years, many different treatments have been tried for morphia including topical, intralesional, and systemic corticosteroids. Antimalarials such as hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine have been used. Other immunomodulators such as methotrexate, topical tacrolimus, and penicillamine have been tried. Some have tried prescription vitamin D with success. Ultraviolet A light, with or without sirolins have also been tried. Uva 1, a more specific wavelength of uva light is able to penetrate the deeper portions of the skin and thus, thought to soften the plagues in morphia by acting in two fashions. As with all of these treatments for morphia, the difficulty in assessing outcomes in an objective way has limited the interpretation of most studies involving these treatment modalities. Morphia is a form of scleroderma that is more common in women than men, in a ratio 3:1. Morphia occurs in childhood as well as in adult life. Beth Zebert is the most famous person with it. Morphia is an uncommon condition that is thought to affect 2 to 4 in 100,000 people. Adequate studies on the incidence and prevalence have not been performed. Morphia also may be underreported, as physicians may be unaware of this disorder and smaller morphia plagues may be less often referred to a dermatologist or rheumatologist. One by causing a systemic immunosuppression from UV light, two by inducing enzymes that naturally degrade the collagen matrix in the skin as part of natural sun aging of the skin.